The Radio Popper is all about helping uh, photographers and on-location shooters overcome the line of sight limitation of their Canon and Nikon systems. Uh, the problem is, is that you're going to find that your lights misfire a lot of the time. Uh, you can't really rely on them and they, they, they become a frustration after a certain amount of time. Shooting with the Radio Poppers isn't extraordinary. It's not amazing. It just feels like the way that photography should be done. For the first time ever, you now have the ability to also use high speed sync by radio. And the way that works is your infrared based system, ETTL system, already has the facility to do high speed sync up to an 8,000th of a second. Uh, the problem is the most useful situation for that high speed sync is when you're outside in broad daylight when you want to shoot with those nice soft backgrounds at f2.8 uh, but now your shutter speed is so high so um, with other radio systems you have to limit your shutter speed to a 250th of a second which means you're now at f16 or whatever and you lose that nice background. This photo was taken in the desert in the middle of the day and I started using ETTL in the beginning and it wasn't consistent. It was only firing about one out of six, seven times that I actually needed it to. So then I called Kevin over and he comes over with his little light stick with the flash on the end. We put the radio poppers on. The radio poppers were working consistently 100% of the time. Five minutes after I put the radio popper on my camera for the first time, I was fluent. It was so easy to use and I tested it on different levels of exposure compensation, on different ratios and groups, and on different channels and it worked great on all of them. It's really like using ETTL without all the hassles. I've seriously been looking for a product like this ever since I started photography.